bees, you don't like them, do you? They are scary, they can sting you, and they can make some people who are allergic to them sick. But bees are your friends, and they help us, even though they are a little scary. Do you know what bumblebees can do for you? Bumblebees pollinate flowers, meaning they fly from flower to flower spreading the pollen. You know that yellow powdery stuff? See? The bee lands on the flowers and buzz pollinates, which means they move their wings really fast, spreading this pollen around. And bumblebees have special wings that can fly in weather that other bees like honeybees cannot. So you really should be thanking these scary bees because we need them to have pretty flowers. And we need them for much of the food we eat because bumblebees pollinate many crops. But the population of bumblebees is declining all over America, and scientists point to many possible causes. Four species of bumblebees have declined by up to 96%. That means if you had 100 bees, there would now only be four bees left. As the bumblebee numbers go down, there will be less food for us to eat. Losing bumblebees affects everyone, but there are also some very personal costs. You know all your friends that you play with at recess? Well, this is Angie. She is a student just like you. This is your friend Angie's grandpa. Angie comes from a family of farmers. Her dad is a farmer and his dad is a farmer too. This is where Angie's dad and grandpa work. On this farm, there are bumblebees that fly around to each crop and pollinate them. This is Angie's dad. Without bumblebees, he has to hand pollinate all of his crops. This means that farmers have to go around flower to flower multiple times a day. This takes an extraordinary amount of time and effort, and it means that Angie's dad will not be able to keep his farm running. One possible cause for bumblebee decline is diseases that spread through colonies that live close to each other. Or habitat loss, when the environment that bees live in changes and no longer supports them. This can happen from urbanization or when cities get bigger and bigger. Bees need a special home to live in too. Do you know what a habitat is? A habitat is a bee's natural home and environment, just like you have a home too. Bumblebees are especially vulnerable to habitat loss because they require three different types of habitats to survive and reproduce. The first habitat a bumblebee needs is one special for pollinating, but then they also need a habitat for nesting. Finally, bumblebees require a third habitat for hibernating. Because they have so many special habitats, if just one habitat is destroyed, then the entire bumblebee colony is doomed. It also matters the way farms are laid out. Certain practices and types of crops farmed are worse for bee populations. Many farms have trees and bushes along their sides, but when farmers are trying to make their farms bigger, they often get rid of this border, which scientists have found to be bad for bees. Lastly, bumblebees are important for many other species, like the flowers they pollinate and the animals that eat tomatoes, blueberries, and pumpkins. And if bumblebees disappear, then all these things will too. So, what can you do to help? Be informed. Spread awareness. Talk to your parents, friends, and teachers. Spread the word. The more people that know about this problem, the more people that can contribute to its solution. Act. Even though you are just students, Every person's voice matters, and everyone can work together to solve the problems facing our communities today. Ask your teacher about doing a class project to plant a flower garden at school. You can also do this at home with your family and with your neighbors. Lastly, think ahead. If these are problems that interest you, consider studying environmental science in school. We need more young students to become engineers and scientists researching the causes and solutions of these problems. And a final lesson to take home with you that applies to all areas of life, don't judge a book by its cover. Even though bees may seem scary, they do so much more to help you. And as a society, we must protect.